Hey, what's going on, fam? So, this video, I just want to make a... Give my take on the Popeye's chicken craze. Because, obviously, it's swept the nation. And... A lot of people are now, especially in our uh, pro-black ADOS community, however, whatever you want to call it, a lot of us are starting to make videos talking about it and how black people in particular are reacting to it. And I want to give my take because obviously this channel is about black people and black issues and dealing with the system of white supremacy. So I want to, you know, put my little two cents in on this because I've heard a lot of different perspectives on you know what's behind this craze what's motivating people to participate in this craze and i've heard different takes you know some kind of blaming black people for participating in this craze the way they are some kind of blaming popeyes and i kind of agree with both perspectives i'm kind of in the middle um you know because there are a lot of black people who are saying that black people are acting basically like slaves like this is a plantation jubilee um, the way they're acting, you know, fighting and climbing through drive the windows over this sandwich, which to some degree it is. Um, but then on the other hands, I see how people are saying that this is not really a black problem. This is uh, Popeye's victimizing black people in particular, but people in general, but black people in particular. And it's a, more of a product of consumer culture than it is of black people. It's more of a product of American consumer culture. And I also get that side. And what I'm going to do is just so you guys can get some more perspective, because I don't, I hopefully, I know I say all my videos are going to be short, but hopefully this video is very short because there's not much to talk about here. Um, but if you want more nuanced and detailed perspective, I'm going to put a couple of links in the description box. Um, it's actually three of the prominent figures in the ADOS movement who've taken three kind of different perspectives on this situation. So, for example, a lot of you who've listened to my videos before, you know, I referenced the T. Tariq Nishida, somebody to listen to, um, he had a video, he put out a video, he took more of the plantation uh, perspective, so I'm going to put his video in the in the description box, with his video, I want to forewarn you guys, um, the first like 11 minutes of it is him shooting the breeze and talking about other things, not about the Popeye's chicken sandwich, so if you want to fast forward to like 10, th 10 minutes and 30 seconds or 11 minutes to skip all that, um, you know, stuff that ain't even about what the topic of the video is then then go ahead but i recommend his video and i'm also going to put yvette carnell and antonio moore's videos because even though they took kind of the same perspective which is more so blaming popeyes antonio moore was kind of in the middle where he was kind of blaming popeyes and black people but more so popeyes and yvette carnell took the perspective of pretty much completely blaming popeyes and I see all all three perspectives because those three people, they they're kind of a representation of the three different kind of opinions that black people have taken on this thing. Some people are saying it's OK. Have your well, there, then there's another perspective that none of them took. And that's that there's absolutely nothing wrong with this scent, with this craze. And it's just, quote unquote, having fun, which I don't get that that I can't see. But the other three perspectives of it's Popeye's fault or it's kind of Popeye's and black people. Or it's really mostly black people. I kind of see all three. Even though I, if you can't tell by now, I kind of fall in the middle. I kind of think it's a little bit on black people. And I think it's a little bit on Popeyes. So, let's start with... First of all, let me tell you guys a personal story. So, I've had this sandwich. But when I got the sandwich, I got it when it first came out. So when... I was getting the sandwich, I didn't have to deal with lines wrapped around the building... Um, and all this crazy stuff, right? Because I wouldn't do it. If it was that, which I'm not doing it now, because every Popeye's I pass, it's lines wrapped around the building. I have tried to go to Popeye's since the craze started, not because everybody else was going for the sandwich, but because I just wanted to, I like the sandwich. It is a good sandwich. It is better than Chick-fil-A and pretty much all the other fast food chicken sandwiches out there. I agree with that. I actually agree with that. It is a good sandwich for as far as fast food chicken sandwiches go. But it's not that good. It's a piece of fried chicken between a bun with pickles on top. It's not this amazing miracle recipe that they've come up with. It's a sandwich. And I was even joking with my girlfriend because she didn't try the sandwich. 
Uh, but she had wanted to try it once everybody else had started talking about it because she said she wanted to see what all the hype was about and why everybody was saying it was so good. So one day after work, I had tried to get her the sandwich because first she told me she was going to get it. And she said she went to the Popeye's on work and it was just wrapped around the building. So she left, which is understandable because that's the same thing I would do. And then she said, so she said she went to another Popeye's that was like five minutes down the road. And that one was also packed. So she gave up. And I thought it was just the, the Popeye's in her area because she lives, she not lives, but she works in kind of like the downtown area where there's a, like a lot of traffic and people living in general. So I thought, okay, maybe that's just downtown. Let me go to the Popeye's near where I work is, which is completely, fur, which is like 40 minutes away from where she works. So I'm thinking I live in a completely different area of the city. It's probably not going to be that bad. So I go to work. I go to, I'm um, not work. I leave the Popeye. I leave work and go to the Popeye's near my job. That one's out the building. So then I go to another Popeye's that's nearby, like 10 minutes up the street from that Popeye's. And that one's packed out the building. So I head home. And now there's a third Popeye's that I passed, not even intentionally, because I did my two Popeye's I had given up. There's a third Popeye's that I passed that's closer to my house um, on the way home. And so I passed that Popeye's, not even intending to, intending to go to Popeye's. And that one was wrapped around the building. And that kind of brings me back to my perspective on this sandwich and what's wrong with it. Because I was wondering if, like, did I get an advanced copy? Why didn't I have to wait? three hours for a sandwich only to find out that they were out of sandwiches oh that's because i was able to think for myself and i decided on my own not because somebody else told me the sandwich was good but i decided on my own i wanted to try the sandwich because i'm someone who's a little bit into like food reviews and things like that i'm kind of a foodie so i like i watch you know youtube videos and things like that about people not trying just kfc i mean not uh, popeye's chicken sandwiches but kfc food burger king impossible whopper like these are things i will go out and try just because i want to sometimes see what these things taste like and see if they're see if they're good it's a new product that hasn't been out there before so i want to try it right even if it's it is if it's not a new product it's a new product from a particular food retailer so i want to try it so i did try it and i was able to try it and it was a good sandwich like i've already said but it wasn't that good it wasn't that good to stand in line for two three hours waiting on a sandwich that i may not get or I probably won't get because by the time I get up there, I know they're going to be out. That's com that's almost common sense to me. And like I said, I'm going to put the links in the description box because I don't want to make this video too long. Where Antonio Moore and Yvette Carnell, they kind of more so break down how this is Popeye's fault. And I do see that because one of the Popeye's that I, the second Popeye's that I went to when I was trying to get my girlfriend a sandwich. There was literally a Chick-fil-A right next door. And the Popeyes, of course, line wrapped around the building, spilling out into the street. There was literally a Chick-fil-A next door. Like, I'm not exaggerating where it's like, I'm saying it's next door, but it's really two stores down or it's really across the street. No, this this Chick-fil-A is literally next door to the Popeyes and it was empty. And to me, this is a microcosm of wrong with society in general, because people don't think for themselves. This is why black people go out and vote Democrat, even though Democrats pr pr practice benign neglect to us. This is why black people don't have the mind to withdraw from the voting process, even though it's not benefiting us at this point. To, to leverage our vote to get reparations by saying we're, we're going to withdraw from this process if we're not going to get the things that are going to fix our condition as black people, as black Americans. It's that same kind of thing. You have to wait until social media tells you, or media, or all your friends tell you to go do something. That's when you decide to go do something. Nobody has the ability to analyze, or not nobody, but most people, it appears, don't have the ability to analyze situations for themselves and make decisions on their own. Because because to me, there's no excuse. When in my, in my experience... It's always Chick-fil-A that's packed out compared to a Popeye's. And it, on any other day, at any other time in life since Ch Chick-fil-A and Popeye's have been both been in existence, if there was a Popeye's and a Chick-fil-A right next door to each other, nine times out of ten it would be the Chick-fil-A that has the, the line wrapped around the building and the Popeye's is barren. And that's for good reasons. Because Chick-fil-A has is notorious for much better customer service. Most of you know any Chick-fil-A you go to, nine times out of ten, you're going to get good customer service. 
Whereas most of you know who have been to several Popeyes, anytime you go to a Popeyes, most likely you're, it's the the service is slow, the customers are, I mean not customers, the um, workers are rude. It's just a night and day difference. And then one of the things I like that Antonio Moore and Yvette Carnell were saying in their videos was notice the difference between how Popeyes handles its lines when its lines are wrapped around the building are really long. They got people out there with iPads standing in two and three different spots in the drive through line. Making sure that you get your order taken. So that even though Chick-fil-A's lines a lot of times are wrapped around the building, you still aren't really waiting in line that long. Because they are efficient and they care about the experience of the customer. And that's where I want to go to go to people in general. And well, let me say this before I even start going, going on black people. Let me say this. I am aware, I know that it is not just black people that is that are participating in this sandwich craze. I know that. I know our, it's not just black. Yeah, that's number one. I've seen white people, you know, in these wrapped in these lines, you know, these crazy lines for Popeyes. I've seen Asian people. I've seen people of all races. Not only that, when we look at other crazes like Black Friday crazes, it's not just black people that have fought, got, gotten into fights and stuff over stupid stuff. Because it's a craze. Like, we've seen people trampling each other. But, I, you know, first of all, camping out, sleeping out overnight for an iPhone or, or whatever on a Black Friday sale. Fighting each other over a flat screen TV. Tramp, people getting trampled. People dying during Black Friday stuff. So, we've seen this before. This is not something that's exclusive to black people. It's part of the consumer culture of America. Right? It's for people to... Do stu- stuff that I cannot comprehend no matter what race you are. Sleeping outside, standing in line for three hours, trampling other people, fighting people over these flat screen TVs and stuff that you got to buy and pay for. It's not like like not like not it's free. Like, you still got to pay for it. You still got to spend money for it, but you're going to uppercut somebody else just to get it because you're so desperate to get it and you know there's a limited amount of them and they're going to run out. So you're fighting like hell to get it. And I also understand with black people in particular, how frustrating it is. Because I've been frustrated at Popeye's actually. When I, there was only two cars ahead of me and I waited 30 minutes for my food. And I was pissed off about that. And I knew I would have been doubly pissed off if I waited 30 minutes. And then they didn't have it. Or an hour or two hours or three hours. And then they ran out. I would be pissed too. So I understand the frustration. I understand how black people on a subconscious level are tired of being lied to. They're they're tired of getting things told that would be available to them. Or that promises that are made to them. And especially politically. And just that society promises to us as citizens. And members of the society that we're supposed to have. Especially of American society. A supposedly equal uh, more um, meritorious society, and we don't get it. So I understand how some black people are kind of at their limits, and the pop and standing in line for three hours for a Popeyes chicken sandwich, and then to only to know that only to get up to the drive through window, or only to get up to the to the register, and it's not there, and a the customer and the um, workers rude, or whatever it may be, which Popeyes workers are are usually rude, but I can understand how they would be doubly frustrated. Because they're have they're getting slammed, probably beyond their uh, capacity to handle it, and these customers are just are just probably driving them nuts. So I can I, I almost feel bad for the Popeyes workers, but and and I can understand why they would be in a cranky mood. But then you're in a cranky mood, too, because you've been standing in line for three hours. But then this is where I have to put it on black people, especially the black people who are fighting and climbing through windows. Why don't you have enough dignity not to stand in line for three hours for food? (coughs) Excuse me for this cough, fam. It's called fast food for a reason. It's supposed to be fast. If you got to wait two hours for your food... By that time, you could have done gone to the grocery store, bought a chicken breast, fried it in some oil, buttered and toasted a bun, and made your own damn sandwich. By then, is it really that deep? It's 
fast food is supposed to be fast. You're supposed to have an expectation and a, and a certain level of self-dignity that I'm not going to stand in line for four hours for fast food. That's why it's called fast food. But people, they do not have the ability to think for themselves. And you got to go get this sandwich because somebody else told you that it was good. You didn't go try it for yourself and decide it was good. And now you're standing in line for three hours. Because if that was the case, I would have been standing in line for three hours from jump when I first got the sandwich. But I wasn't. Why is that? Because a lot of you waited until somebody until this thing got crazy on social media. I saw the Wendy's versus Chick-fil-A versus Popeye's tweets, which they were funny and cute. But I had already had the sandwich by then. While the, a lot of you people are just just now deciding, oh, now I want the sandwich because I heard other people say it was good. I heard other people talking about it. And now it's become this media frenzy. Now there's suspectedly social, social media influencers being paid to promote this sandwich. And so now, because these other people have told you to go get the sandwich, now you're going to go disrespect yourself and stand in line for three hours for a sandwich that they don't have and that you should have been intelligent enough to know that they would not have by the time you got up there because you done waited three hours for the shit and it's a new item that they just released so it's not like they're going to have unlimited quantities of it because they're when they first release something they're not even sure if it's going to sell that much so they don't make that much of they make a decent amount but they're not going to make that much of them to where they can feed people for three hours straight ordering sandwiches. When it's hundreds and hundreds of people. Three and four hours straight. After a while, they're going to run out of sandwiches. And you have to have the common sense to know that. And to see the line wrapped around the building and say, I'll come back later. When it's not stupid like this. When Popeye's gets their shit together. But no, we don't have enough common sense to do that. Because we're sheep. And anyway, like I said, I didn't want to make this video too long. It's already going on 20 minutes. But that's really my take on the video. And that's why I kind of agree that it is sort of a plantation jubilee and to some degree. Because regardless of how Popeyes is victimizing us, and like I said, again, I want to reference Antonio Moore's and Yvette Cardinal's video for a more detailed breakdown on how Popeyes is targeting and victimizing Black people in particular, even though people of all races are participating in the sandwich grade. I get that part, and I agree to some degree, and I agree that Popeye should be held accountable to some degree. But also, I, I hate to sound like a, almost a damn near right-wing sambo, but in some degrees, black people have to be held accountable too. And, any, and anybody else who doesn't have the dignity to not stand in line for four hours for a sandwich, you, you should have the common sense to know you ain't going to get after you done stood in line for it for three hours. You got to have that kind of common sense. And if you don't, and then you get up to the line and you don't have it and you're pissed and you're fighting other customers, you're jumping over the counter, you're jumping through the drive through window, now you are kind of acting like a slave. Now you kind of are making this, helping make this into a plantation jubilee. Now some of these white supremacists are justified when they put a goddamn watermelon out in front of a Popeye's before it opens. Because you niggas are playing into the stereotypes. You're being a real life slave over this damn sandwich. Because somebody else told you to go get it. But when somebody like me tells you to go fight for reparations, you don't want to do that. But you'll go fight somebody else for a goddamn chicken sandwich. And this is why sometimes it's very frustrating to be somebody who fights for black people. Because our priorities are, are so out of whack. This, there's nothing fun about standing in line for three hours for a sandwich you won't get. So all these fools, all these, uh, I don't even know what to call you, that's getting on line talking about, we just having fun. Why you gotta rain on our parade? We just having fun. What's fun about standing in line for three hours for something you ain't gonna get? What, what's fun about that? Something you could have made at home. In the same amount of time that you stood in line waiting for that shit for cheaper. You can get a pack of boneless skinless chicken breast for $8. That's four sandwiches for $2 a piece.
but you standing in line for a chicken sandwich that, yes, it's good, but it ain't that good. It's like, come on, folks. But anyway, I digress. Like I said, if, if you guys want uh, a slightly more detail or, uh, or more in-depth perspective on this sandwich craze, I will go check out the videos. I'm going to put in the link in the description box again. Tariq Nasheed, Yvette Carnell, and Tony Moore, three different perspectives. Um, they're longer videos than mine, all, um, except Tariq's video. His video won't be longer than mine, but um, Yvette and Tone's video will be longer than mine. So go check those videos out. Make your own opinion, but just have enough dignity not not to stand in line three hours for a goddamn sandwich. Have enough pride to hold Kapabas accountable and have enough self-respect to say, I'll wait. Because fast food is supposed to be fast. But anyway, that's just my rant. Um, like, share, subscribe. Peace.